Hey guys, Karan here back with a new video and you're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. And today we are gonna take a look at Titanium OS Custom Room which is based on Android 10 and this one is also a unified build so you can install it both on your Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T. It is showing me my device name as Redmi Note 8T but my device is Redmi Note 8 but don't worry about that because it's a unified build so these things can happen. So when you go to Android version, you can see this is based on Android 10, an unofficial build with security patch of 5th of April 2020, the latest security patch. What other things you get in Titanium OS custom room, Google camera is working or not, how about PUBG, everything in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get started now. This is my device I get I got and uh, by default launcher which you get here is the pixel launcher pixel launcher version 10 in app info let me show you this is the pixel launcher by default you get and as expected pixel launcher has does, has any has no features at all you can see add icon to home screen suggestions about everything here no extra things are here when you click here you get some options of styles and wallpapers you can select some wallpapers a lot of wallpaper options are available also in clock style you can customize your clock styles to samsung type bubble analog or binary whichever you like and in styles you get four styles by default available if you want to check out all these styles you can easily apply them without any issues at all okay let's move on further let's check out some other things the camera app which you get by default here is the anx camera no snapdragon camera here and this one is anx camera it is showing you still can't connect to camera try restarting your device what you have to do is then actually it happens because i tried to use wide angle and ultra wide and macro and ultra wide and both of the things are not working wait let me show you that how extra other things are working and you can see use macro etc is just showing you but actually not working photos are clicking without any issues 48 megapixel is working also also the portrait mode is working too so almost everything is working but the thing is whenever you open ultra wide it is not working so can't connect to camera ultra wide is not working you have to compromise with that but the good thing is google camera is perfectly working without any issues so if you want to try out google camera that's working without any issues portrait mode camera video everything is working that's a very very good thing you get gallery go app by default and in magisk manager if you have installed magisk and you want to if you want to use some banking apps and if you want to check safety net status here it is safety net status is true so it means you can easily apply you can easily use banking apps without any issues at all so another very good thing here okay let's move on further let's take out some other things let me show you pubg first PUBG is force stopping. I tried to play PUBG so many times. I tried to open PUBG so many times and it is not even opening. PUBG is force closing. You cannot play games here. Obviously, all of the guys are playing PUBG now, right nowadays. PUBG is force stopping. I don't know why, but unfortunately, you cannot play PUBG. So, this thing you have to compromise with that. Okay, so now let's get further. Wally board this is the app which you get by default available has some wallpapers of titanium OS if you want to apply any of the wallpapers from here you can easily apply without any issues okay let's move on further and check out some features of this custom room network and internet connected devices apps and notifications everything is same in battery section you have the option of smart charging which you can use and also get the battery temperature option available here in display section the option of dark theme as expected adaptive brightness live display size and wallpapers i have already shown you screen attention feature option is available here which is of which is ported from pixel devices screen attention i already shown you double tap to wake full screen apps display cutout you can choose the density option to font size and display size smallest width and here theming room headline body font icon shape etc okay and in sound storage privacy everything is same and this one is the main thing 
face unlock option available that's a very good thing you get the face unlock option in android 10 custom room with the customization options that's a very very good thing pubg is not working so one thing is negative but face lock is available and is working too so that's a very good thing one positive thing here and other things account accessibility google system about phone i've already shown you let's move on check out some features of this custom room ti elements the ui looks pretty much cool and you can check out here in status bar you have the option to customize the clock settings gestures network traffic display battery level status bar icons you can customize only these are the things you can do with your status bar in lock screen obviously you get some features like lock screen shortcuts lock screen gestures unlocking your device with fingerprint force fingerprint authentication vibration etc charging animation you can change to flash battery drop explosion water whichever you like you can choose that one easily in quick settings you have the option to choose your quick setting you can customize your quick settings panel you can choose the quick settings opacity quick setting blur quick setting tiles animation options are available here too quick setting rows and columns available here you can choose gestures like three finger swipe to screenshot and also three button navigation options are available but i am using gesture navigation so you can just go move and head over there here you have extra options available you can hide the navigation bar pill which i personally like a lot so that's another very good thing also you can choose the amount of screen height used as a touchable region for back chest so that's another very good thing so these are two best features i personally like a lot okay and notifications miscellaneous ambient everything is almost all same like other custom rooms let me just overview them as a lighting option you get here by default call notification options available here in miscellaneous gaming mode option is available i try to play with gaming mode and without gaming mode but both of the times pubg is not working so gaming mode has no positives for you no profits for you you can choose the ambient display if you want to try out in battery section you can only decorate your battery bar and only aggressive battery option in screen you have the framework values and enable scaling etc animations obviously there are a lot of animations activity open activity close task move to front wallpaper toast list view and screen off at last in screen of animation you get only crt and scale etc in buttons you can customize your power menu you can customize your volume rockers nothing else and at last about so these were all the features you get in the ti elements and this was all from today's review how to install this room i already shown about this a video properly i made a video on that so this was all from today's video i hope you like it and don't forget to like share subscribe my channel that's all goodbye have a nice day